my word the big question is how could we have not seen it all the time the parents are up in arms throughout South Africa saying that we don't want our primary school kids to go back to school because we, we, we scared for them little did we know that the crash will be opening before the primary <laughs> guys and uh, we, we're lucky to see how the proceedings were happening at the crash throughout and it was unbelievable I mean the likes of Minister Sulu oh my goodness uh, one of the other interesting situation was uh, an MK versus an MK Speaker of the Parliament Tandim Dise versus uh, Minister Sulu you know the only thing that I agree with with her about was or oh, it still is about the issue of say Corona Corona get away get away from us essentially we want a party <laughs> Stay at home if you can. I'm finding it difficult to stay at home. Virus, just go away. Please leave us alone. We have a life to live. I mean, it was crazy in the parliament. It was crazy. And, uh, I mean, whoa. Where do I start? There was also a bit of back and forth between one of the representatives of the... Uh, Freedom Front Plus with uh, the EFF because the representative of the uh, uh, Freedom Front Plus quoted the EFF about the shutting down of business and he, o he also quoted the, the EFF saying that we don't care about the businesses as long as the white monopoly capital businesses collapses why do why do we have to do anything with them and then that's where there was back and forth in the parliament and the other one was the lovers quarrel as as it's always happening between Buisen Indlozi and uh, Lindiwe Zulu it's Lindiwe Zulu they also had their back and forth in the parliament uh, honorable members Thank in the front benches in the ANC here, you are out of order. You can't be screaming across the way you are doing right now. Please, you too, you too, you too in the left. No, you too. You've been doing it together. It's out of order, members. No, no, you can't be this disorderly, man. Please, uh, order. Uh, we know, Mr. President, that you are chasing only profits and not lives. You've got a, a history of sacrificing life in Marikana for profit. And we are experiencing it again now, where the lives of children are being... Malema, when are you order. should give us solutions and stop talking what you talk. Give us solutions. stop it. Malema is also... He's also at home on the fireplace. My lemma is also not in, in the environment. Honorable members, honorable members, if you have not been recognized to speak, do not unmute that mic, because otherwise I will give instructions for that mic to be muted. The honorable CP Mulder. Thank you, honorable speaker. Honorable president, it is common cause that it is the view of the economic freedom fighters that the whole country should remain in level five and in a total lockdown indefinitely. It is also known that it is the strategy of the EFF to gain total control of the economy. In order to achieve that, the Honorable Leader of the EFF recently made his view clear when he said that lockdown should continue so as to have the white economy, whatever that may mean, to collapse. Mr. President, you made yeah, the point earlier today you made the point earlier today that post-COVID, we will be confronted by a post-war economic landscape. 
and that we need a balanced strategy. Is it your view and the view of your government that certain sectors of our economy first needs to collapse before we get South Africa through this economic crisis? Thank you. Thank you, Tatiya Mulder. Mr. President. We must the EFF in Jela Poen, Freedom Front. Honorable Mukalipi. Stop it. Honorable the Honorable Speaker. the President. Honorable, Honorable Julius, I'm not taking points of orders. No, on a point of order. That African uh, can't speak for. No, no, no. Honorable Malema, we're not doing that. We are in a question session. Honorable President, take the platform and respond. Oh, it's all money. I'm not going to that African. Honorable President, you Should I answer, Honorable Speaker? Yes, Mr. President, I give you the go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> and who are you? And who's Shut there? Up. I will wait for the speaker to give me the go ahead. No, answer. We are listening. Answer. No, thank you, Mr. President. Wait for the speaker, not this one. They are not speakers. They are not speakers. Anyway, no, no, they are not speakers. The speaker will yeah. come through. We are not even paying people 350 rand when I just pull up. My apologies, Honorable Member. I put her in the 350. Order, order, order. Who speaks? I am back. I am back. Well, I'm coming. That's why I was also LG. Where you have up with? Honorable Speaker, where were you? Order. Honorable Speaker. Who spoke at 350? No, no. Order, members. Order. I did not run away, Honorable Ngozi. Mr. President, this is true. Honorable 350, I won't go in there. Honorable Mkwezi. Speaker. And what can you do under a state of disaster that you cannot do under the ordinary course of governance? Uh, my money was better. Hmm? Order. Mr. President, you have the floor. The point of order was that I asked the President a specific question. What can he do under the Disaster Management Act that he cannot do under the ordinary course of government? Now that the lockdown is... You must over. Give, give the answer to that. I need to clarify and pay a cool one. Honorable Zulu, like can I respond to Tadastinism? But you cannot, uh, after you have been given a response, then demand the response that you think <coughs> he should have given you. Can we I proceed? We Honorable are proceeding, Honorable, Honorable members. Honorable Josie, what point of order are you raising on? The eyes, boy. Uh, with the Honorable McLeod, you will withdraw that. Honorable Ndozi, what's your point of order? Yeah, Honorable Speaker, with the greatest respect, can you save us from Honorable Lindwe Zulu with harassment on the virtual platform? Ngengu we are tired with her now. Please Honorable... remember her to keep quiet. Now Honorable... you must keep quiet. Honorable, Honorable Zulu, Honorable Ndozi, yeah. you feel it is sustained. Honorable Lindy Zulu, please. Thank you, Honorable Connie. President, we are moving nah, to number five. No, no take Honorable, you, Connie. No, Honorable Members, no. I don't understand why you are impatient with me. I have not even gone beyond 30 because seconds. Because you are time <laughs> bound to put a supplementary question. You are not. I've got one minute, Speaker. Can you relax? You've got what? You've got now, what? The president, the president no, no, no. Is Honorable Mount, what did you, you say you yes. have? I got 60 seconds. That's 60 seconds now. Yes, I'm on it, on our speaker. I'm well aware. Please. Now, the president. Ticking. <laughs> now, president, can you guarantee that you will back off, you and the executive will back off and allow the public protector, Memo Kravani, to do her job? Please. Thank you. Let, let's feel Chabalala yes. was better. On, on a point of order, speaker. Honorable Speaker, I think the way in which you dealt with the Honorable Mauto is really unfortunate. You have been indulging all members who have been asking questions, like Honorable John Steele. And now you are. Let's feel Chabalala was better. Uh, Honorable Mauto, it's very unfair, Honorable Speaker. I really need you to reconsider and not push her in that way. It will be seen as both anti women but also generally frustrating the opposition. 
Yes. Honorable, no, no. The anti EFF, this is. Honorable Mkalipe, that mic will be put up. The point of order is that the president keeps on saying that we are pushing for white people to donate land to black people. I will move away from the expropriation of land without compensation. Oh, you're out of we order yourself. Order. Now. Because every time he's saying that he's looking for white people to donate land. President I never said that. You're out of order. Honorable Shabalala. Out of order. President never said Honorable Shabalala. Because every time he speaks, he says that we are looking for white people to come and businesses are donating Honorable land. donations of land now. Honorable Shibango. As mandated by parliament. No, Honorable Shibango. Nothing deserve that airtime. Honorable Shibango, you, you do know that you are taking a chance because you did hear what the president said. Honorable yeah. members. Long live president. Soldier on. Honorable Shabalala. Kuzeka. Honorable members, this concludes the business for the day and this sitting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.